Can you get your Raspberry Pi Pico working with an Android phone? Yes, but it does depend. If you plug the Pico into a phone in USB mode, Android will report the drive as not formatted. Unfortunately, following the formatting steps does not fix this, but it would also not damage your Pico. So grab a computer, I will be using Windows, but it should be similar on Mac and Linux. To start, we need to get MicroPython running on the Pico. So head over to the Raspberry Pi website. Scroll down to documentation and download the MicroPython UF2 file from the Getting Started with MicroPython section. Now hold down the Boot Cell button on the Pico and connect it to your computer. Let go of the button and you should see a new mass storage device. Simply copy over the UF2 file you downloaded and you're finished with the computer. Now disconnect the Pico. Connect the Pico to your phone but this time do not hold down the boot cell button. Go to the Google Play Store and install Serial USB Terminal by Kai Morich. There are other USB serial apps, but this is the one I've tried and works for me. Open the app and go to Settings Devices. Click on the custom device with no driver. Select CDC. Click on it again and say yes to the prompt about accessing an FS device. You are now connected to the MicroPython REPL, R-E-P-L, a read eval print loop that you can type commands. Type print hello as shown here and click the send arrow. The Python environment on the Pico will now answer hello. I recommend writing commands in notes or another text editor and then copying and pasting them into the app rather than trying to type them each time. You can also use a Bluetooth keyboard. You can now turn on the LED on the Pico with some code. Type in the following. From machine import pin making sure you use a capital P for pin. LED equals pin open brackets 25 comma pin dot out close brackets again making sure you've got the correct capitalization on pin and the out is all capitals this tells the pico that we want to use the pins and we want to specifically use pin 25 as an output And the final line of code is just LED dot value open brackets one close brackets. And the little LED on the Pico lights up. To turn it off, send the value zero. So type in LED dot value open brackets zero close brackets. This code and many other examples are available at the Raspberry Pi Pico MicroPython page. I hope this has been helpful. In the future, you should be able to plug your Pico directly into your phone and use it as a mass storage device, bypassing the need for a separate computer.